Hello everyone, welcome once again to this lecture on biochemistry. Today I'll be discussing to you the stages of biochemical energy production. So once again, I'm Dexter Pajarito. So what are the four general stages in the biochemical energy production? First is digestion. Number two or stage two is acetyl group formation. Stage three is citric acid cycle. And stage 4 is electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation. The digestion of carbohydrates will begin in the mouth because the saliva contains an enzyme called salivary amylase. And um, the result is formation of small molecules. The end products of uh, starts or carbohydrates degradation are glucose and small monosaccharides whereas the digestion process of proteins produces amino acids when fats and oils are hydrolyzed or degraded the end products are fatty acids and glycerol the digestion products are then absorbed into the blood and transported to the body's cells. The second stage or stage 2 is called acetyl group formation or acetyl-CoA formation. The acetyl group formation or acetyl-CoA formation, this is a stage wherein the small molecules that were produced in stage 1 are further oxidized or transformed into small molecules and eventually it will be converted into acetyl group and then it will be converted further into acetyl coa this stage involves numerous reactions say for example the process of digestion of starch okay will undergo stage one where starch is broken down into glucose now when glucose enters the cell the glucose will be processed into numerous reaction and eventually the glucose will be converted into two molecules of pyruvate and eventually the two molecules of pyruvate will be converted into two molecules of acetyl coa these steps here are the stage two okay which can be summarized into acetyl group formation the acetyl group formation can take place in two compartments some reactions can take place in uh, cytosol but some reactions take place in the mitochondria the fatty acids that were produced from the digestion of uh, oil and fats are converted into acetyl-CoA also. But this time, the conversion of uh, fatty acids to acetyl-CoA takes place in the mitochondria. The process by which fatty acids are converted into acetyl-CoA is called beta oxidation the acetyl coa that uh, were produced in stage 2 of biochemical energy production will be oxidized in a process called citric acid cycle this takes place inside the mitochondria this citric acid cycle will oxidize the acetyl group to produce carbon dioxide and some form of energy in the form of GTP aside from carbon dioxide and some form of energy this will also produce reduced NAD or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide in the reduced form and it will also produce FADH2 or flavin adenine dinucleotide in the reduced form so citric acid cycle is an oxidative cyclic metabolic pathway where the acetyl-CoA is oxidized. In this stage, 
Since it has been said that this is an oxidation, the oxidizing agent here is NAD+. Plus. There are reactions where NAD is the oxidizing agent and there is also a reaction where the oxidizing agent is FAD. These two molecules here serve as oxidizing agent. And in the process, these oxidizing agents will be reduced into NAD8s, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide in the reduced form. So we know that it's in the reduced form because of the presence of hydrogen. The fat that serves as oxidizing agent will also be reduced into fat H2. In this uh, reduced form, the energy and the hydrogens and the electrons are trapped. The electrons and the hydrogen ions will be processed in the next stage of the biochemical energy production. The fourth stage of biochemical energy production is called electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation. The reactions here take place in the mitochondria. In the process of oxidizing acetyl-CoA, two reduced coenzymes are formed, namely the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide in the reduced form, and then the other one is FAD H2, okay, the flavin adenine dinucleotide in the reduced form. As I said earlier, these are in the reduced form and they have electrons and the hydrogen ions that could have been lost in the process. However, the electrons and the hydrogen ions will be temporarily uh, stored by the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and the flavin adenine dinucleotide and then eventually in this stage the electrons and the hydrogen ions that they store will be released okay so initially they are in the reduced form when they undergo oxidation they will release the electrons and the hydrogen ions that they temporarily store the electrons that they released will eventually react to molecular oxygen to form water. Of course, in the process, you need some hydrogen ions to generate water. Okay, thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful and you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. See you on my next videos.